excited for this one. There may be no baked good more satisfying than the cookie. What's your favorite? Favorite cookie? Chocolate food? chip, Chocolate. hands down. I'm a sucker. Everybody's for it. favorite, mm -hmm. right? This mid morning, we have a local entrepreneur who is mixing up great marketing, savvy business sense, and a dinosaur sized cookie. DeRussia eats at T Rex. And this is 12 pounds of melted butter. Tina Rexing has learned to make her ginormous T-Rex cookies. So we're just going to pour this in here. It takes a ginormous amount of ingredients. That's big. Yeah, uh, it serves about four people. <laughs> that was my tennis nickname when I was playing competitive tennis was T-Rex. It's a good nickname. Yeah. 20 years in corporate IT, but her real love was baking. I would always t bake cookies, bake cakes, breads, whatever, and feed them to my my colleagues and they would always say, why aren't you doing this for a living? <laughs> I'm like, well, there's no money in it, and that's why. <laughs> Tina won first and second place ribbons at the Minnesota State Fair. And when she entered her 40s, she took the leap. T-Rex was born. I think I'd be kicking myself if I got to be like 80 years old in a rocking chair and wondered would have worked or not. Tina originally sold her half pound cookies at the Minneapolis Farmers Market. Since then, it just kind of grew. Crazy. <laughs> U.S. Bank Stadium then asked her to sell cookies in the suites. Demand kept growing, so she opened a cookie cafe on the border of Minneapolis and St. Paul along the light rail. Think it's because they're delicious, or is it because they're enormous? I think both. Um, it's one thing to have a unique product, but it's another thing to have a unique product that actually can hold its weight. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> if the half-pound cookies aren't enough for you, she's created a five-pound, forty-dollar cookie. Popular at weddings and corporate events. Do we know how many calories are in a half pound cookie? Do you really want to know? She's selling so many cookies online, wholesale, in the cafe. Lemon cranberry white chocolate. She's already outgrowing her cookie kitchen. And this is our peanut butter chocolate. Oatmeal raisin is a very controversial cookie. It's very polarizing. Here are the evil raisins. <laughs> they are going in. Love them or hate them. Tina has learned to hustle. Building her own brand is very different from her days working in corporate. It's been a challenge in terms of sometimes you meet people and they they don't take you as seriously a lot because a I'm, the only thing I make is uh, a cookie. We probably have over 15 to 20 varieties in our cat. Wow. Our so do you think people underestimate your business acumen? And your baking acumen? Yeah, to squish them together, I have to kind of prove myself. Tina's proving that hard work and a delicious product. That's really good. Is it? Huh. I mean, T Rex cookie has little chance of going extinct. That, that is cheddar cheese wow. on top of that one. Look at these guys. I, they, right? I can still smell them. They're All delicious. right, this is the uh, uh, oatmeal chocolate chip. This is what this I didn't is bring any raisin because. Thank you. Come on. Four, raisin. Four raisin bucks for a cookie. cookie. Now, the calorie question. Do you guys want to know or no, not? No, yeah, no, no. Do. You can I'm tell curious. me. I don't, I don't. It's about 950 calories per cookie. Mm. Four servings, so it's about 240 calories. That's not four servings. This is one serving. No, no. That's, I mean, you could resist, can't you? Here's what I would do. Nope. I can't resist. Not only could I not resist, I would turn these into an ice cream sandwich. And she <laughs> does in the summer. In the summer at the Cookie Cafe, she does uh, turn these cookies into We should diet. talk. It's really me. good. Yeah. Really okay. good stuff. Uh, hold on. Are you all right? Oh, you got yeah. a mouthful of cookies? Should I, I do this? <laughs>